Hey guys, it's Packer Night Ryan D Bar. I keep trying to make this video. Probably I should just stop because I'm forcing it. I'm at a train station in in a rural area, and I'm here for a while because yours truly just wasn't paying attention and got on the wrong train. <sighs> but I was thinking about the capacity signs I saw last night. This is a capacity sign, very common in German cities to tell you where you can and can't park. I don't know what the cost of those signs are, but they seem like they're really convenient. You don't have to waste time getting into, driving into a garage and seeing what's there. You know whether there's space or not, straight up. Uh, the other thing I saw was a when I was walking to the train station today, um, there's a garage. It's got a mural painted facing the street, which is probably where we should put the murals on the Hughes, Ave Hughes Avenue garage once we fix it to make it not look like a brutalist monstrosity. And then above it, there's houses. In fact, the hotel I stayed in was above a parking garage. Kind of weird construction, but it worked, I guess. And then when you look at Clarksburg, there's not really a park downtown. The only pleasant public place to gather is the courthouse square, and the county maintains it, not the city. I guess you have the wall to mourn, but then the library maintains that. Um... And then you have parking garages in various states of disrepair, including one that's only 15 years old. Where is the vision? Just real quick. Like one of those signs that I showed you that tells you where you can park and a little bit of sign is showing people how to get off of 50 and where the parking is would be a reasonable investment. And then instead of spending 150000 to get a splash park at Nutter Fort, maybe spend 150000 fixing the 150 or the 500 car garage and the 120 car parking lot up. And then the annual maintenance that you would be spending on the splash pad, put it toward the proposed bocce court, which someone was going to give to you. All of this would make your downtown more pleasant, more accessible. Why don't you do it? Why do you keep shooting yourselves in the foot? Following a Pied Piper, like I did on the train, I followed the herd. You're following a Pied Piper who never had any good ideas. It led you straight over the cliff. Whatever. It's your town now. I'll holler at you later.